In a draft class filled with polarizing figures, James Wiseman may be the most polarizing. The 7-1 center was ESPN's number one recruit in the 2019 high school class. Due to complications with the NCAA, Wiseman only appeared in three games against UIC, South Carolina State, and Oregon. Film on him is hard to come by, but let's dive into what we do have. Let's start by talking about his defense, because that's where I think he's going to make most of his money. At 7-1 with a 7-6 wingspan, he can become a great interior defender, capable of swatting everything at the rim. His 9-3.5 standing reach puts him right in between Anthony Davis and Rudy Gobert. While his frame is solid, he does sometimes have problems getting back down. Here's Evan Mobley out-muscling and scoring over Wiseman on two separate occasions. His instincts as a help side room protector need some work. Here he's late to rotate and ends up getting dunked on. On this play, he gets a bit overexcited helping. And then when he has to go back to his man, he gets caught jumping and gets called for a stupid foul. Here he gives the big an easy lane to the hoop and mistimes his block attempt. Here's Wiseman defending the pick and roll. Rather than sliding his feet, notice how he turns his hips and gives this guard an easy driving lane. On this one he comes up way too high, gets stuck, Chua has to come and help, and Oregon gets an easy alley-oop. After the screen, Oregon gets Wiseman on an island against Peyton Pritchard, and Peyton Pritchard hits the three-pointer right in his face. Memphis doubles Pritchard on this one, but the ball gets dished out to Shakur Justin. Wiseman is pretty clearly closing out way too hard on a guy who shot only 20% from three this year. This is just not really knowing your scouting report. Now there's no question that Wiseman is going to be able to rebound at a high level in the NBA, but he still does leave a little bit to be desired. Notice there how he wraps his arms around this player's back, making it impossible for him to get the ball. And another one where he doesn't really use his length. Now obviously Memphis picks up the loose ball here and Wiseman finishes the play with a dunk. So this seems like a pretty good time to segue into talking about his offense. Plays like these are certainly where he'll provide the most value. Wiseman projects as a fantastic rim runner. He doesn't have a problem finishing these plays. someone that can use his size and length on the offensive class. Look at how he anticipates the rebound and gets an easy putback. Here he uses his size advantage, gets fouled. Look at how he spins through two UIC players to get this rebound. Most of his production in the half court will come on these spread pick and roll plays where he finishes everything with a dunk. Again, he uses that world class size and length to be a threat on these long plays. On this one, UIC sends a man to help, but he's obviously a very little player. In the NBA, he's going to have to deal with better athletes down there. Another thing I will say is that if he's going to be this big time blob threat, his hands do need a lot of work. He has a tendency to fumble passes and rebounds. 
And going back to my prior comment about dealing with NBA athletes, here he is getting denied by five-star Evan Mobley on two separate occasions. As far as non-pick-and-roll half-court sets go, Wiseman doesn't really bring much to the table. His inability to space the floor makes him a sort of lane-clogger on offense. This makes it very difficult for his teammates to get easy looks around the basket. You'd hope that in the future he's able to shoot spot ups like this one. He has shown flashes of a nice little mid range post fade game. He shot 70% from the foul line in college. That's not bad, but we can't really rely upon that number, as he only attempted 27 free throws, making 19 of them. During the 2018 EYBL circuit, he went only 4 of 27 from 3 and made just 55.4% from the foul line. Here's Wiseman's one three-point attempt in college. It wasn't a very good decision on his part. If you're a non-shooter taking a three, don't take it in crunch time of an important non-conference game. Shot selection has been an issue of Wiseman's for a while. He falls in love with his outside shot when it's still a long ways away from being viable. So after the brick three, on the very next possession, Wiseman decides to take this step back mid-range jumper, and it's the world's most obvious up and down call. And then the next play down, he dribbles into two defenders and gets bailed out by a foul call. During his three college games, Wiseman's stats are certainly eye-popping. 19.7 points on 77% shooting to go along with 10.7 boards and 3 blocks per game is obviously great. His 52.7 PER and 16.2 box plus minus don't even seem real. However, you have to consider that Wiseman was playing UIC and South Carolina State in two of these games. Neither of those teams have a player over 6'8". Even Oregon's tallest player at this point in the season was only 6'9 in Francis Okoro. Now don't get me wrong, I think Wiseman will have a very nice NBA career. I wouldn't even be surprised if he's putting up an efficient 10, 11, 12 points per game, along with 9 boards as a rookie, almost like Mitchell Robinson. However, I just don't feel that rim runners like him are super valuable, and his perimeter game has been really far away for years. I'd definitely rather use a lottery pick on an initiator or a wing. If I am to use a top 10 pick on a big, I have to either A, buy his half-court offense, or B, expect him to become a super high-impact defensive player. Now he does have the chance to become a very good defensive player in the NBA, but there are things that he has to iron out, such as his pick and roll defense and rim protecting instincts. But again, I do think that he will be a quality NBA player, I just would not use a high pick on him. So thank you very much if you made it all the way to the end of this video. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Uh, please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Those will be in the description for more content just like this. Thank you.